today we will see about angle blocks friends so angle blocks matlab um, i'll be sharing about the posterior tibial nerve how to block the posterior tibial nerve block the sural nerve the superficial and the deep peroneal nerve blocks the saphenous nerve block you can block uh, either by uh, seeing the saphenous nerve uh, close to it or saphenous vein and close to it or you can do a Uh, subsartorial uh, saphenous nerve block or you can do an adductor nerve block or you can do high up and go few ml of local anesthetic or the femoral nerve block so angle blocks let's start with the posterior tibial nerve so the uh, as you know the anatomy the nerve lies between close to the posterior tibial artery between your medial malleolus and your calcaneum okay so with the patient in supine position with arm uh, with the, the limb externally rotated as you see on the left side how i place the probe medial malleolus and uh, the calcaneum the probe is placed a bit high up over the medial malleolus the anatomy that you get is medial malleolus the flexor digitorum longus the flexor hallucis is longus and tibial is posterior on the confluence of the three muscles you will have your posterior tibial artery and close to it you will have the posterior tibial nerve let's see in all these blocks are performed in out of plane technique as you see here this pulsating structure is a posterior tibial artery and this is your femoral this is your posterior tibial nerve so a knee needle comes in out of plane technique and then in the local anesthetic is deposited all on the posterior tibial nerve that that pulsating structure is here posterior tibial artery so that's a posterior tibial nerve next is deep peroneal nerve with the patient in supine position the probe is placed between your medial malleolus and mantle malleolus the sono anatomy that you get is you have your extensor digitorum longus and your extensor hallucis is longus muscle and below you have the tibia and uh, between those two muscles you have the anterior tibial artery and deep peroneal nerve let's see that's the anterior tibial artery and close to it you have the deep peroneal nerve that small hyperechoic structure okay so few ml of local anesthetic on top of the uh, deep peroneal nerve will block it successfully next is superficial peroneal nerve which always sits on top of extensor digitorum longus with the patient in supine position and the limb to be internally rotated as you see here the probe is kept uh, few centimeters just uh, above the lateral malleolus you will have the sono anatomy that you get is the extensor digitorum longus and peroneus brevis and longus the nerve is sits on top of the extensor digitorum longus So all you have to do is that your superficial peroneal nerve. So the out of plane manner, the local anesthetic is that's a needle that is coming close to the superficial peroneal nerve. That's the local anesthetic is being given. Now after a few ml of local anesthetic, you will be able to see the nerve bit better. That hyperechoic structure is here. That's a superficial peroneal nerve. next is sural nerve which always accompanies the short saphenous vein with the patient in uh, with the patient in uh, uh, prone position you can see the lateral malleolus just few centimeters above the lateral malleolus and uh, close to the achilles tendon the probe is kept the sono anatomy that you are or you can keep in lateral position too i do it in prone position the sono anatomy that you get is it achilles tendon close to it is you will see a vein and the nerve so achilles tendon you will see the nerve and the vein so close to it and you will see the extensor hallucis longus and peroneus brevis and the fibula let's see you can see the uh, that now you can see the out of plane manner you can see the needle tip 
and you can see a hyperechoic structure close to the needle tip is your sural nerve. So these nerves are always seen better, better uh, with high definition ultrasounds. So I am using Sonosite Edge 2, so it gives a better picture of your small small nerves. So that's all friends. So if you like uh, this video which shows your posterior tibial nerve block, the sural nerve block, the deep and superficial nerve block, peroneal nerve block, do like it and uh, please place few comments below it. Thank you.